Thank you for joining our Vivid Tech, Novo Connect, and Launcher Plus webinar. We will introduce you to our Novo Enterprise wireless presentation and collaboration solution, a connect, work, and share essential for your evolving meeting spaces. Our Novo Enterprise is optimized for small business and corporate meeting spaces, anywhere you have a display that's intended for team collaboration. With cross-platform support, you can connect virtually any mobile device to your display, making your technology connection process seamless. Both Apple AirPlay and Android Google Cast are fully supported for full screen sharing, and our intuitive on-screen controls allow you to manage multiple participants with ease. The Novo Enterprise also has a dedicated HDMI input for your must-have room devices. It also includes free centralized device remote manager, user software, and device firmware upgrades with the purchase of the hardware. And for a new added benefit, we are now shipping it with two USB plug and play Launcher Plus for your Mac and Windows mobile computers. As technology has evolved, so has our meeting environments. The desire for team collaboration has increased and so has the adoption of multiple user devices. We no longer have to fumble through cable adapters before or during a meeting. Instead, our meeting room, boardroom, and huddle spaces can be enhanced with wireless, multi-device support. Incorporating a Novo Enterprise to any of these spaces allows you to connect, work, and share your ideas with ease. Our key features on our Novo Enterprise platform include true cross-platform support, AirPlay and Google Cast mirroring, dynamic screen layout supporting up to four devices on screen simultaneously, intuitive on-screen user controls, a dedicated HDMI input, and centralized device management. Some of you on the call are familiar with the Novo Enterprise already, but not so much with our companion device, the Launcher Plus. The Launcher Plus is a USB button controller and presentation transmitter. It makes a direct Wi-Fi connection to the Novo Enterprise to allow wireless presentation of your Mac or Windows computers. The key features of this device is direct connectivity to your computer via USB and a direct ad hoc wireless connection to the main unit. This allows you to benefit of having a zero impact on a secure corporate network. Another key feature is our one-click control. Five physical buttons that grant users the ability to intuitively control their projection at will without having to run any software on their devices. When working with the Launcher Plus, there is a set of process that must be done first upon opening the box. Let's go over that important step next. After unboxing the Launcher Plus, the first thing to do is to pair it to a Novo Enterprise unit that you intend to connect to. What is Launcher Plus pairing? It's a process to associate one or multiple Launcher Plus units to a Novo Enterprise. Through this process, the Launcher Plus will store the necessary configuration data locally to enable automatic connection when they are plugged into a Windows or Mac computers. This is a one-time process. What are the pairing procedures? I'll show you this in a moment, but first thing is to set up the Nova Enterprise devices properly on your network. The second is to plug in the Launcher Plus unit into one of the USB ports on the Nova Enterprise. Typically, the pairing will be complete in a few seconds. And step three, repeat step two if you have more than one unit to pair. Here's what the process looks like. The first thing you want to do is take your Launcher Plus and plug it to one of the USB ports on the Nova Enterprise. On the home screen, this pairing window will appear. It will take a few moments to pair with the actual Nova Enterprise, and once it's done, you'll see this window appear, pairing complete. The Launcher Plus will highlight blue, and then you can disconnect. Connecting to your PC would be the next step. Take the Launcher Plus and plug it to a free USB port on your PC. On your home screen, this pairing window will appear. 
This is the Launcher Plus trying to make communication to the Novo Enterprise. Once it's found the Nova Enterprise, the window will change to show that the launcher is ready to act. From here, you can just press the center button and connect to your display. It's just that simple. Another note to add with the Launcher Plus is when you have multiple participants connected to your presentation. With the Launcher Plus, you're able to dynamically change your on-screen position with the Launcher Plus buttons. Pressing Quadrant 1 or 2, 3 or 4 will place you in that position. Also, pressing the Center button will bring you full screen. The Launcher Plus will actually give you feedback of where your laptop position is on screen by highlighting blue. Now that you see how easy it is to pair and work with the Launcher Plus, let's go over some of the features of the Novo Enterprise. The first being our dynamic screen layout and second our intuitive on-screen controls. For our first feature, the Novo Enterprise dynamic screen layout allows you to connect up to four devices simultaneously on the screen. The screen layout will dynamically change from full screen, side by side, three up, and quad view based on how many sources you select to be displayed. With this feature, your Windows PC, iPhone, and Android user device can all be on screen simultaneously, enabling a true seamless co-op sharing experience. Here's an example of it in action. We start with our main presenter, Kevin, already in full screen mode. In the lower portion of the screen is the participants list. Tina just joined the meeting session and her icon appears, as does Sam and Mandy's. Adding Tina to the on-screen presentation is simply done by clicking on her name and adding her to the presentation. Now both Kevin and Tina are on screen side by side. Adding Sam's Android device is done the same way. And adding Mandy's iPhone brings up the quad screen display. Withdrawing a user is done the same way from their name tab. Bringing all device types together. Here is an example of merging multiple platforms together on the same display. Kevin has connected his Windows PC to the meeting. My AirPlay device is added with full screen mirroring. Please note that this Apple device is connected via AirPlay. My first Google Cast device is added third. In this example, I'm adding a Chrome tablet. And for my second Google Cast device, we are using an Android tablet showing you multiple platforms simultaneously on screen. Let's say you needed more than one AirPlay device on screen. Here's our example of two side by side with full screen AirPlay mirroring. The first device being an iPhone and the second device being an iPad both connected via AirPlay. The uh, iOS version at the time of testing is version 11.0, which brings us to a close for our first featured highlight. For our second highlighted feature, we will demonstrate our intuitive on-screen control operations, including our screen annotation, projection control to add, remove, and withdraw a meeting participant, sharing display content with your session attendees via screen snapshot, and session controls to lock, terminate, and display the connection info.
Here's an overview video of the functions in action. This expandable menu button reveals a toolbar. You can toggle the on-screen display mode from here. In it, you'll find a pen tool, a highlighter, a remote mouse enabler, your participant controls, which is how you bring up the on-screen participant list, your Novo screenshot, your eraser tool, trash, and annotation back and forward button. Here's an example of the pen tool. And yes, you can change the pen size and also the highlighter tool. The controls show hide button will prompt the session controls where I can add or remove a participant's content. I'll add and remove participants to the presentation so you can see the dynamic behavior in action. Let's say you want to annotate over your content. If you wanted to share your annotation notes to your meeting members, just press the center snapshot button and select snapshot to all. Each connected participant will receive the file on their device. As for your session controls, they're located here. You can lock the session, terminate, or show the session info if you had someone come in after the meeting already started. Clicking on the button will toggle the show and hide of the connection info. Let's say Sam just joined the meeting. I could choose to have his content put up on screen, side by side with mine, And if for some reason I wanted to terminate all connected users, just click on Terminate Session. That brings us to our close of our second highlighted feature. Our versatile HDMI input is our third highlighted feature. It allows you to add a hardware source to your dynamic layout. For instance, a wire computer could be added to the presentation at any time, a handy backup for accepting that last minute guest computer. Or the input could be a high resolution document camera or any other live HDMI video source. For more information on the Novo Enterprise, we have a previously recorded intro webinar available online along with more online resources. Just go to our product webpage at www.vivitechusa.com where you will find software downloads, documents, and training videos or follow our Vivitech USA YouTube page for product intros and product featurettes. At this point in time, we're going to shift to our Q&A session, so please feel free to ask your questions in the questions area, and we'll be happy to answer them for the remainder of the webinar.